The models that gave us hard HRM and soft HRM both date back to 1984, but the, the concepts of operating in a hard HR environment or a soft HR environment or a combination of both is so commonplace now, I thought it would be useful to have a video or two videos that actually take us through and explain what hard HR is and um, I then have a separate video explaining soft HR. So the hard HRM model is called the Michigan model. And as I said, it was written in or developed in 1984 by Fombrum et al, um, obviously working in Michigan. And it, as a model, focuses on performance. So looking at how do we maximise performance within an organisation and how do we manage the workforce so that they're performing um, as well as we can get them to. So this is the Michigan model and it is cyclical, although it doesn't really show as a cycle here on this image. But the idea is that um, you recruit employees into your organisation. They will then work and you'll have the employee performance. Once they've been performing, you'll carry out an appraisal. And if they are performing to standard or exceeding the standard, you will reward the performance. And then you go back and continue the cycle looking at their performance again, appraising their performance on an ongoing basis. And therefore, that's why the cycle. Equally, as part of the appraisal, you can look at how well they're performing. If they're not performing to the standard you're looking for, you would then look at training and development to improve their performance, to get them to perform to the standard that you want. You would then let them continue performing, carry out additional appraisals. Hopefully this time they're um, working at the right level and you can then reward the performance and so the cycle continues. So the basic idea is that we only way to drive the performance of the employees is by incentivizing their performance, giving them rewards. So if we reward you, you'll work harder, you work harder, you get the rewards. Um, so it's a very transactional relationship, the, the Michigan model. And if we look at the next slide, as I said, there's a, a strong focus on performance. And you saw that with the, the diagram, the performance is at the middle of everything that we're looking at. So it's it's really, really focused on performance and it's a task focused model. So it's focused on making sure the employees are carrying out the tasks that they're required to do, that they're doing their job and that they're doing that job to the standard required and all employees will be treated the same way. They will be expected to perform at the same standard. And if they don't perform that standard, the training doesn't work, they're out the door. Um, so with the Michigan model, it will also see people as a resource that um, is to be used within the organisation in the same way as any other resource. So they don't see employees as being different or special. Um, and it's really just a case of you want to maximise the performance of your employees so that you're generating a profit and you are also looking to try and make sure that you're not spending any more on your employees than you absolutely have to. So you're also going to be trying to minimise your costs. So definitely a cost focused model, focused on performance, focused on profits and the performance of the employees is about delivering productivity, delivering performance, delivering um, profitability for the organisation. So very briefly, that is the Michigan model and hopefully that has proved helpful for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to message me. Um, thank you for listening.